Green's from the Black Country, guys. So win is a token, not a token. When it's worth some money. <laughs> no, so the first little token I've got to show you today comes from Callie's favourite place, Dundee. <laughs> and it is a communion token. So it's got the parish of Dundee. It says, let a man examine himself, and so let him eat. Of course, I'd have to drop it, wouldn't I? But I've got quite a few of these. I've got a few communion tokens and, like, my bread tokens, if that makes sense. I'll, I'll show you. So these would have been given out by the church or... The council, like the parishes, to help the poor people, and like you can see, like a classic example of things like this would probably be in like um, Angela's Ashes, where she had to go and get tokens for shoes and things like that for her kids. So this one is actually from the co-op from Great Yarmouth, and it's for a large loaf. Is pretty cool. Um, this one is also from Great Yarmouth Co op, but this one is for a small loaf. So you, you can see the size difference there. So these would have been given out obviously for a loaf of bread. You needed to feed your family. Now this one. The, these little plastic things are the bane of my life. I can never get into them. But let a man. Corinthians. 28. And this is from Kirk. 1837 and this again is a communion token so um these would have been given out by the catholic church so that the poorer side of the congregation could go and receive the body and blood of christ Yeah, which I oh, it's it's quite unbelievable, really, when you think that you know, God is meant to be for everybody, and the priests chose who could afford to go and and pray and receive the body and blood of Christ. When you know the entire idea of Christ is that He came to save everybody from their sins, so. It just baffles me. We have this one from the Co-op Society again, but this is for half a loaf. So you've got a half a loaf, small loaf, and then a large loaf. Obviously, the difference is this is a yeah, but they must have um. Different regions must have had different shapes because obviously that's that's a co-op the same as these ones, but it's got a different shape to it. So I'm guessing like Yarn Great Yarmouth had like this sort of shape, and then wherever this one is from had that sort of shape as well. This one is another communion token. This one's from Glasgow. St. James's Free Church, Glasgow, 
I'll let you pause on that to see what that says because my eyesight isn't that great. But yeah, things like these absolutely fascinate me. And I've got quite a few tokens to be honest. But what's this one? So there's another little token. I don't know what is with me this week. I just keep dropping everything. But yeah, like these absolutely fascinate me. And it's just a piece of history, isn't it? It's like you, you're holding a piece of history in your hand. I mean, whether you're in, into like really religious history or whether like history of a business you've got a bit of everything here and i just think they're fascinating so let me know if you collect any of these let me know if you know what any of these or any more information about these let me know what your favorite was and i'll see you again guys more press pennies more bits and pieces more pocket posts more bits whatever takes my fancy see you soon guys bye